This is the Valley Today. Local breaking news overnight, a woman now being treated for a serious gunshot wound after being shot inside her South Fargo home. Police now scrambling to find that shooter. Police say her husband was arguing outside with two people in a car just before 10 last night when they exchanged gunfire. One bullet went through the apartment window, hitting the victim. The people in the car took off. Police still looking for them now. They were driving a white Jeep. Police know who they're looking for, though, because everyone involved in the shooting knew each other. That shooting happened in the 2700 block of 47th Street South. New this morning, the Minot Bomb Squad dispatched to Williston after police there found explosive materials within an apartment. Williston officers were investigating a report of a drug activity when they made this discovery. The building where the explosives were found has been evacuated. Uh, just about 6.02 on our Tuesday time now for a look at our storm team forecast and what's going on outside. Good morning, Lisa. Good morning. Well, we're bringing back the roller coaster because we are on this ride. We're currently on the climb. Today we're going to be mainly in the 70s, some of us a little cooler into the 60s, but everyone running above average for today. But even as early as later tonight, those changes will start. And by the time we get into Wednesday, we're looking at 40s and 50s for your highs, so it's going to be uh, kind of a rude awakening heading into the rest of the week. But in the meantime, enjoy what we've got. We've got some temperatures that are ranging anywhere from about 41 in Jamestown to 60 in Bemidji. So a bit of a range, almost 20 degrees here, but it's warmer than where we were yesterday. We're all above freezing. It's 57 in Fargo, 48 in Grand Forks, and focus on that wind too. It's out of the south, steady speeds for a lot of us in the teens, and we're we're getting some gusts into the 20s from time to time. Most of us have been on the dry side. There have been a few showers or even some thunder showers that have been rolling through parts of southeastern uh, viewing area here in Lakes Country. A lot of this is moving on, but if you're in Grand County, if you're in Otter Tail, back over toward Wadena and Hubbard counties, you could still see a couple of spotty showers affecting you there. In between that and what's to come next, we'll have a pretty decent day, but you can see what's on the doorstep. Some rain in eastern Montana, clouds moving into western parts of North Dakota, all associated with the system that's going to be bringing about that change. So here's a look at our planner for today. Expect temperatures to rise for one more day back into the 60s and 70s. I have 74 degrees today in Fargo, so a warm one. And we'll enjoy sunshine for a good portion of the day through midday and even into the early afternoon. But clouds will start to move in with that front and that will start to turn that wind as well and out of a different direction. We'll go from a south speed to a northwesterly direction Br uh, breezy with that too and uh, that means some cooler air taking over so changes happening even during the day today but most of it should be pretty nice so we'll get into the details more on timing for you where you are and take a look at what the rest of the week entails as well coming up in just a couple of minutes but yes uh, we've got some changes on the way and for some <laughs> of us it might be a little tough to take yet again yeah looking like the final countdown huh Lisa? exactly and and the <laughs> the countdown's getting pretty low here yeah. so get out to enjoy it while you can. Okay, thank you so much for the update. 6.04 on our Tuesday morning now. The latest Russian missile strikes to hit Ukraine now promoting emergency sessions among world leaders. The UN General Assembly gathered yesterday to discuss a resolution condemning Ru Russia's annexation of four Ukrainian regions. The meeting comes on the heels of a major missile strike across Ukraine that killed more than a dozen people, injuring hundreds more. President Biden and other leaders of the group of seven nations are planning an emergency virtual summit today. That's to discuss Russia's war with Ukraine. Thousands of U.S. protesters took to the streets after Russia unleashed that barrage of missiles on several Ukrainian cities yesterday. Many demonstrators urging the government to sell more weapons to Ukraine and declare Russia a terrorist state. The demonstrations followed a new round of missile and drone strikes by the Russian military that killed at least 11 people, injuring dozens more. Firefighters spent the night watching for hot spots at a major fire in Becker County. The main lodge at Maple Log Resort near Callaway, Minnesota, now destroyed after a fire ripped through yesterday morning. Valley News Team's Bailey Hurley shows us that devastation, and she learned that this isn't the first tragedy to strike the lodge. For hours, crews from 11 different fire departments across Becker and Monoman counties rushed past Becca McCullum's home and toward the billowing black smoke and flames at the Maple Log Resort. It's so horribly sad. They're, 
they're such a good bunch. And, and you hate to see any place burn. You don't want to see anybody losing not only their home, but their place of business. No, it's terrible. You just feel so bad for the family and the business. You know, it's, it's a big loss for an area like this. Everybody loves it. Everybody goes there. We have the skiers, the bicyclists. What once stood as a three-story, 54,000 square foot lodge has crumbled into ash. Fire crews saying the building's tin roof and size, as well as the resort's remoteness, made for difficult firefighting conditions. We're so far away from water sources other than the lake. Just getting the personnel here, enough water here, because that water truck alone, you know, is throwing over a thousand gallons a minute. And it's just very hard to supply that kind of water for this time, this long of a period, this remotely. While devastating, Maple Log has seen heartbreak before when it burned to the ground in 1999. But neighbors say the community rallied together once and they'll do it again for a place and a family that means so much to all in Lakes Country. In Callaway, Bailey Hurley, Valley News Live. Officials say no one was hurt. Investigators still looking for the cause of that fire. A 12-year-old Minnesota boy is in a Twin Cities hospital with critical injuries after being accidentally shot by his uncle. Police say they were squirrel hunting near Motley on Sunday morning when the accident happened. The boy was airlifted to a Twin Cities hospital. No update yet on his condition. Two people are dead, another hurt after a crash in Grand Forks yesterday afternoon. Police say a van was crossing an intersection at 69th Street and 27th Avenue North when it was hit by a truck. The victims were all within the van. And a Grand Forks girl recovering at home after being hit by a car. It happened around 4 yesterday afternoon at 20th Street and 40th Avenue South in Grand Forks. Police say the girl was crossing the street when she was hit, but her injuries are not serious. The driver was ticketed for failure to yield to a pedestrian. A man is in jail for blocking a train in Grand Forks. Police say Roland Reamers was trying to make a citizen's arrest yesterday. Because a train was blocking the street, officers were called to the 5400 block of Demers Avenue where train crews told them the guy was blocking the train from moving and shooting off some kind of fireworks. Reamers was arrested for disorderly conduct. There's a long delay in processing rape kits from Fargo at the state crime lab. 18 kits so far have been awaiting DNA testing for more than a year. Fargo police say while the issue lies with the state, they're also taking steps on their own to make sure this does not continue. Police say they will double check cases, work closely with the state lab when they have a lead on a suspect, and even dedicate detectives to these types of crimes. We have a lot of cases that stack up on certain detectives, and we want to put a little bit more emphasis on our sexual assault and family violence, which will help us be able to solve these cases quicker and get to justice for the victims. Now, our check indicated that no sexual assault kits in Minnesota are currently awaiting testing for more than a year. That's with the exception of some of its 2015 inventory. A West Fargo gas station picking up the cost of repairs for customers who got the wrong grade of fuel. There was a fuel mix up at PetroServe on Main earlier this year. People got diesel instead of regular. That can damage your car. Owners say it was a mistake by the driver of the tanker truck who put diesel in the station's gas holding tank. If this happened to you, your vehicle probably won't run and it could require taking out the fuel tank. Drain all the diesel fuel out of the gas tank and get all the diesel fuel out of the lines, uh, the fuel lines and uh, the fuel injectors. Uh, so basically put fresh gas in there and it will sputter and not run very well for a little while, but then it will run back to normal. Now this could cost hundreds of dollars to fix the problem. PetroServe says they were the only ones impacted and that this kind of thing does not happen often. Still to come in the Valley today, oh, you can help a Fargo man who has a long road to recovery ahead. This is after he was hit by a dump truck. And up next, weather to plan out your day as we jump outside for this live look across Fargo on your Tuesday morning. We'll be right back.